Welcome to the 13 Colonies Review. Each of the original 13 colonies were divided into three regions based on their geography, the lay of their land. Each region's economy was determined by their geography. Being a fisherman in the desert didn't make a lot of sense, so their geography did affect the type of economy that developed in their colonies. The New England colonies uh, consisted of four colonies that are easy to remember with the phrase Mr. Can, the first letter of each colony name. Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New Hampshire. They had very poor rocky soil in the New England colonies, so the industries that developed were based on the natural resources that were available to them. Fishing, lumber, shipbuilding came from the lumber, and because they were able to build ships and trade with Europe, they were also able to be the first to institute manufacturing. The primary religions were the Pilgrims and the Puritans, who both came over to practice their religion as they chose. But there was a group called the Dissenters. The Dissenters didn't agree with either the Puritan or the Pilgrim religions, and so therefore were not really welcome in either colony. The middle colonies can be remembered with the phrase, two new dramatic preachers. New York, New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania. They had pretty good soil in the middle colony, which was great for growing grain. So the industries that developed, developed around their agriculture. They became known as the breadbasket of the colonies, as they grew wheat, barley, and rye, the grains that are used for most breads. They were also able to raise cattle, and pigs, so they had beef and pork and butter. All of these things could be grown or raised in such amounts that they could sell the extra as a cash crop, which was a great boon to the colonies. The primary religions were the Quakers, the Protestants, and the Catholics. In the southern colonies, you can remember their names with the phrase, Virginia goes to see Mary. Virginia, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Maryland. They too had very good soil for growing, a long growing season, and lots of humidity. So their industries also developed around their agriculture. But they grew labor intensive crops, which required large plantations and lots of workers in order to plant, maintain, and harvest their crops. They grew things like tobacco, rice, corn, indigo and sugar cane. Eventually they started growing cotton. The primary religions in the southern colonies were the Protestants and the Catholics. The colony of Georgia was unique in that it wasn't actually settled because of religion. It was settled as a place for debtors, those who owed money and couldn't pay their bills in England, to come over to America and get a new start. It was a wonderful idea but at first they didn't allow them to have plantations and slavery, so Georgia grew very slowly. Over time they changed the rules allowing plantations and slavery, and Georgia started to prosper. And there you have your review of the 13 original colonies.